Would you rather get a lump sum of two million dollars today or be guaranteed twenty thousand US dollars a month for the rest of your life? And let me know why in the comments for whichever one you choose. Yo, Weaver, I don't know why she asked that question, but that question is quite interesting. So I'm gonna ask you the question: Would you rather to get two million USD one time or get twenty thousand USD every month for the rest of your life? Let me know in the comment section. The Jamaicans them more year on the answer. <laughs> Any of you speaking about Jamaicans, don't ramp with a Jamaican parent, especially your Jamaican mother. Mom, can I get this? <sighs> Jeremy, no. Go put it back. But I want it! I fine, fine. Put it in the cart. Oh God. Yay. Mommy, me can get this. No put it back. You give me money for put up. Oh, mommy. Now, people, I want you to be honest in the comment section. Una, I don't know the mother not go beat enough with this. <laughs> if you were a child like this, if you know so you go out in a public and do any type of thing like this, you know so your mother go whop you right there. So, well, fortunately for me, I was not. And not all Jamaican parents are like that. But majority of them don't ramp with them. Them head ever cheap. Be a stress the Jamaican plus you are stress them. Hey boy. <laughs> and this dress, I try this dress me night people them supermarket. Yo, wait till I reach home. I can kill you with lick. God no, me no know anybody can survive per minimum wage in Jamaica. So the minimum wage increase takes effect today, where minimum wages are moving from thirteen thousand Jamaican dollars to fifteen thousand Jamaican dollars weekly. Now, people, there was an increase of the minimum wage here in Jamaica, so it's finally in effect, fifteen thousand Jamaican dollars per week. Now, let me ask you this question: Can you or could you here in Jamaica survive with fifteen thousand dollars per week? week let me know in the comment section and even for the jamaicans them with their us that is approximately 96 us dollars would you survive off at 96 us dollars per week let me know in the comment section if you're in the states if you're in canada that is approximately 136 canadian dollars would you survive off at that and also in pound um you don't know england that's about 75 pound let me know in the comment section, could you survive from that? Let me know. Even though it's a different country, but yet still, you don't know. Jamaica different, inflation different. And we can tell you, you know, people, Jamaica is a bit more even expensive than even the foreign countries. And we're not going to go in on the terms of um rent and stuff like that. I'm talking just food prices and bills wise. Trust me, it's more expensive. But you don't know, rent over America, England, them place, they know say, are they so, the big money and then the taxes heavy over there so too. So you know how it go. But people, let me know in the comment section. And people, before we jump into it, on the entertainment scene, on the music scene, fans are concerned that female reggae artist Coffee is missing. And people, I did notice that Coffee is relevantly missing, not dropping any music. After Coffee win the Grammy, mash up the place with a bugger hit song, some monster hit song. Coffee is now missing, not putting out any music, and fans are concerned about that. Me day and me, I listen to one of Coffee tune them a while ago where she did sing a lot down. And me, I say, where Coffee day? <laughs> where is Coffee? Now, people, check this out. Recently, there was a very sensitive and graphic, extremely graphic video circulating on the internet of a call center worker that goes by the name of Brittany Hunter. She was actually crossing the road when she was hit by a truck. And people, when I say the video is graphic, it is extremely graphic. Any of people, if you have seen that video or if you know of the story, especially if you had a chance to look at the video, now, people, the driver in the truck is, well, they are reported that he is being charged for manslaughter. And, people, this is a controversial topic because, based on the video and the reaction of the public, a lot of persons are saying that the female was not paying attention to the road. And then, people, there was an obstruction of view by a coaster that was passed in before the accident. So the truck man, him basically couldn't see because of the coaster. She couldn't see because of the coaster and she was on her phone. Now people, imagine now people, the man is driving a big heavy truck 
and his view was altered by the coaster and people he was not going fast now a lot of persons are saying that that charge would have been unfair because it was an accident and there have also been reports that he has been traumatized by the whole incident now people let me know in the comment section if you have seen the video and if you think it's a fair charge that he should be charged for months later let me know in the comments so update man get for understand say the brother will lick down the girl with the truck is being charged for manslaughter. Now again um condolences to the the young girl um parents, families. Maybe some people not gonna agree with me but I think that the driver of the truck shouldn't be charged. In Canada them call that like a, a jaywalk or something like that. You understand what I say? You like walking across the road without a pedestrian sign or a pedestrian mark. Me not even have to ask, me just know say the driver mental state supposed to like mess up. I me know it's very sad for the young lady there to lose her life. But for the driver, me I wonder if nobody like check in on him. You understand what I say? Because I know he must have feel it. I me know it's unfortunate for your life loss. But clearly in the video, the driver is not at fault. You understand what I say? If him did a speed there so, me not say yes, charge him. But as far as me seeing on the video, the truck, the truck wasn't going fast. I feel like what really kill her is the tire will run over her, you see me? I feel like if it was just the, the hit alone, she probably could have be safe. The fact that the driver didn't see her and it's the driver's right away, I just feel like say it's, it's very unfortunate and unfair upon his end. I don't feel like him should have get charged. You understand as again condolences to the family and you know me know that anybody lose a family know how that feel you understand but the all the video play out and what happened the truck no nah speed nothing at all you understand so me not feel like the driver at fault at all you understand but i say go jamaica system and you can't reverse that fox Right, coming hot off the desk from the Minister of Science, Technology, Tele Telecommunications and Transport, Daryl Vaz, effective immediately. Cable and wireless and its Jamaican affiliate are directed to restrict access to, in Jamaica to all ride hailing applications. So this is basically saying, hey, cable and wireless, Lime, Flow, Digicel, only not supposed to provide no form of service to the following apps. In drive Uber 876 on the go lift ride Jamaica. So none of those apps can be accessed no more. Basically, all of this is stemming from the recent murder of teacher Anglin, at which her body was discovered cold. In this press release, they're basically speaking to what's going to happen because this is stated to have create some regulator regime over the next 12 months, and that all of the per parties that I mentioned just now should come under the regime and conform to it. Basically, they have been getting or they have been advised by the J JCF that, hey, people under these apps have been have been contracted to do murders, rapes, money laundering, all sorts of terrorism and acts and things, you see me? So, basically, for the next 12 months or foreseeable couple months, we might not have any form of ride-sharing apps. So, no Uber, no Lyft, no InDrive, none of them things there until the parties actually get regulated now people this is just a gentle reminder to everyone to be cautious on the road be extremely safe whilst using the road and everyone at some point you are a road user whether you are a pedestrian a motorist or you're a passenger you use the road so be extremely cautious now people speaking about the roads here in jamaica there is a app in jamaica a taxi app that goes by the name of in drive it's an international app but it is being banned by the government and all the other apps that uses this service like in drive is being banned by the government because there was a killing of a teacher whilst using this app big serious my youth it's just that a taxi man them don't have the money but the process is that 
the need for the minister need for get involved minister need for sign an executive order a season this is i'll tell them to leave the country if them don't want leave the country when them get them thing that them get the net the network the internet providers for ban them them all ban them ip so that you cannot access them up to the to the internet providers in a jamaica it's simple but it's just that it need proper protocol it need proper protocol it need for go through the court the supreme court need for ban it some judge some me don't know about a data for go go on me don't know but more people are gonna lose them lives in this country because enough people dead i'm gonna miss enough people me know enough people me know we're gonna miss me from this this thing and dead from this thing and dog. Uh, the man them come in with them dirty in jive dog and the man them spend a whole heap of millions dog and put up ads all over the place dog and me can't do that me not have them millions and we put up ads around the place dog and the man them take away a whole heap of customer dog and the man them take away passenger and I go kill the passenger them dog and then the man them really come in and taxi thing come in dog yeah, the man them are fun, yeah, what you don't even know what I'm here. Yeah, my father, I don't taxi for how much years, dog. And, and, and I first person them thing, yeah, go and I taxi thing in my own. And mash man, them come from mash up the taxi business, you know, man, I don't know what kind of thing that the government bring in, and my... Yo, yeah, oh my, I oh, feel it to my core, my you. This is the reason we build travel a taxi. We get the people them CF dog, and the man them really allow this company from South from Russia, from Russia, South America. Now, oh, people, you know that things are extremely serious when you can see the sight of a grown man literally crying. And people, not even speaking about that though, Jamaica really needs some help, some saving because inflation is killing the people. The prices for things. Things are extremely high crime and violence just like that uh, school teacher that was executed whilst using the in-drive app crime and violence continues to plague our nation inflation continues there are so many road accidents that are ending up being fatal persons are losing their life it's like Gun man, if you touch the road, either gun man are gonna take for your money, the banking system I take for your money in Jamaica, and it's just a big mess. Why you think that grown man was literally crying? Pressure bus five. It's not easy here in Jamaica, and I hope the leaders can see this and literally do something. And we as a nation, we there we have to do something. I don't know. I don't know. Jamaica's problem, it's so big, but I mean, people, united we stand, so I think the problem can be resolved, but the right decisions just need to be implemented. The healthcare system in Jamaica is crap. So being in Jamaica is like the bank banking system, them are thief your money, chopper them are thief your money, bad man them out there, them are take away your money. Here we lick it on a road, gun man out there, contract killing there. <laughs> I mean, Jamaica really needs some serious help, if you know what I mean. Now, Vivo, since we were on the topic of Jamaican roadways, I came across this video and I didn't well, believe, say, I run the man, them run off in one river, you know, people. Talk the truth. You know, believe, say. Now, people, when I look at the caption of the video where it says, who can guess which parish, parish is this? Uh, there are some grammatical errors there, but you, you, you understand what I'm going to ask. Which parish is this? People, which parish in a Jamaica we have one road will look like this? I cannot be. <laughs> is this a roadway? Which part is a Jamaica? People, I, 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 me never know. So if you can even tell me, look and see if you come from the place or you have any idea where in Jamaica the people, them, them, them drive them car through one river, let me know in the comment section. <laughs> this is unbelievable. She would, yeah. You know, long MP them to fix this road, yeah? Oh, uh, I mean, river coast, yeah? See it, yeah? Now, people, in the initial stage of the video, I did talk about inflation in Jamaica and how things are extremely high in Jamaica. Prices are extremely high, higher than even the first world country. But I did mention that, yes, the first world countries like mortgages and taxes and rent and stuff like that are way higher in jamaica i mean like bills 
in the states are way higher but food prices and for some services in jamaica the prices are a bit more hefty but people you know that jamaica was not uh, like that is what i say so they are afraid to say people them man just buy some land a country man buy some land a country with near one river or something you get what i say and people want to do now to plant up the place them man plant some yam some banana and some plant and some cabbage and kalaloo and you know, live off of the earth you know what i mean you want to raise some animal and just call it a deer you see because i tell you for living in the city them and they're not nice they're a country man no people so <laughs> pick up the country people them you see what i say when the country people them can go to the boom and go chop a banana and look at a breadfruit and find something else cook with that you know the people in my town they cannot do that the persons in the city they cannot do that they must pay all rent too. When you're in country, you don't pay rent. You're there you look a piece of board house and you know what I mean? You don't live the hype life, you know. But guess what? You're well comfortable and you have food abundantly, healthy food too. So, people, inflation is high. <laughs> Move to the countryside. Yeah, man. And live some natural life. But, anyhow, people, I am going to leave you with this video. Three things I learned since I moved to Jamaica. Hmm. Number one, this is not America, okay? Jamaica culture is not American culture. One thing I had to learn, I had to leave that American shit in America. The laws are different. The culture is different. The only thing American about Jamaica is the cost of living. And don't get me started about cost of living, okay? Everybody think, oh, I'm going to go to live in Jamaica and live abroad and it's going to be so cheap, babes. Think of it like this, like inflation has hit other places too. And inflation definitely hit Jamaica. And a lot of the things that are here, um, products sold and things are all imported in. With import is customs. And this leads to my last point, okay? If you're moving here and you're going to send things down like furniture and all that, be prepared to give your whole wallet to custom. The whole thing. Mm-mm-mm. That's probably this girl though. Mm-hmm. Excuse my, my, my manners, okay? But I'm going to tell y'all this. When I ship my stuff down, my grandma warned me. She said, baby, you just better off go ahead and buy everything you need here. I said, no, Grandma, it's okay. $6,000 later. And I only shipped, like, barely even a one bedroom's worth of furniture and things. Like, yeah. Just don't do it, okay? Unless... Unless the wallet is fat fat, okay? Okay. Other than that, I love Jamaica. And, I'm gonna be honest. I was not expecting to like it this much because the humidity, we're not friends, but the people, all love, all love. I love my people, okay? Bye, y'all.